I'm going to take our first question from Bobby Darren. All right. Uh, just talk about the second half there, or what you saw out there, and, and what it, what it was like coming back for that win. Yeah, it was great. It was it was a great team effort, man. Everyone was chopping their job and just chopping the moment. So it was great, you know, get out there and uh, play and have an opportunity. And uh, it was just a great total team win, man. Everybody was chopping, special teams, offense, defense. So it was great. Question, Richie Schneider with Rivals. What kind of connection do you have with him, I guess? You guys have been playing together for three seasons and all that. Yeah, I mean, uh, it, it's, it's, it's amazing, you know, being here for three years now and being here when Bo got here, just see the way he's elevated his game each and every week and um, way he, he's bought in and he's just chopping each and every single moment. He's, he's, in the, he's in the meeting room, he's watching film. That's all his receivers. He's a great leader for that receiver room. Everyone's just elevated their level from Coach Underwood to help with Coach Underwood. Uh, Coach Girienzo and Coach Gleason and Coach uh, Goldman. So everyone's just doing a great job in that room. James Cratch, NJ.com. All right, you know, Coach, uh, how emotional was this week for you guys and to have a crazy game like this after everything that went on and kind of fight through the adversity and win it? Absolutely. I mean, uh, it, it was crazy. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, everyone just was just chopping. And through all the, all the highs and lows, we had to stay focused on that spot in the tree and just keep chopping, keep chopping, keep chopping. When bombs just keep going off, we just stay focused on that tree and we're just chopping, chopping, chopping our, our jobs and just everything we do. Deep Lady, NJ.com. Eric, can you talk about what it's been like to be a college football player during this crazy time in, in world history? I mean, what it's been like for you personally to not see your family, to not, you know, to, and everything that's going on? Yeah, it's been really hard. Um, it's been really hard. I think people don't understand that what you know, every single college football player is doing right now and the sacrifices they're making for this game and, you know, not seeing your family, you know, not doing normal college stuff that you would do in season. You know what I mean? Just honestly, you go from the facility back home and that's it. That's all you really do. And you got to stay away from people because you don't know what they're doing. You can't be from the, you can't deal with people from the outside. You really just got to stay indoors and just really it's just football in school and that's it. And it's a huge sacrifice. So anyone who's playing college football, in fact, in fact any sport during this pandemic, it, Kudos to them. It's a, a tremendous sacrifice. And again, we're just so proud of our team and every, everyone they do. You know, they're making a huge sacrifice to play at Rutgers and um, in general. It's, 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 it's amazing. Chris Eisenman with Gannett. All right. What's this entire season been like? I mean, just kind of, you know, learning how to stay ready for whatever they're, they're going to need you and, and then to come into a game like today and, and do what you did. I mean, what's this entire process been like for you? Uh, you know, it's been, it's been a crazy process. You know, everyone has their highs and lows in their career and I just have to stay focused. You know, I love this team. I love Rutgers. I love my teammates. You know, Noah was there every single step of the way with me when I was in that game, he was telling me coverages. He was telling me what to look for. And that's what I think exemplifies our quarterback room, you know, led by coach Gleason. Obviously coach Yano is just no matter who's in, the, who's in the game, it's all of us. It's not just one guy. And we're always constantly helping each other out through the game. And coach Gleason does a great job preparing all of us. You know, we're prepared inside and out, you know, our tests are, you know, long and, they're hard, and they, he gets us ready to go. So it's a great job by Coach Gleason and all the quarterbacks. I'm going to go to James Cratch, NJ.com. All right, that's three Big Ten wins this season. You know, after the first – I mean, just what is that like for the guys who have been here for so long to have that sort of – and on the road as well? It's huge. I mean, for the guys that have been here through all the ups and downs, guys that have been here when it was ugly – when no one, no one gave us a fighting chance, and everyone just kept doubting us. And for us just to keep going, it's amazing to see the guys that have been here for three and four years, the seniors, the juniors, that have just stayed through the process and just kept believing in what Coach Shano was bringing to us, and just kept believing. That it's it's crazy, and it's it's a great it's a great feeling. But we got one more, and we got to go get it. So you know, there's opportunity to get four Big Ten wins, and that's our goal, and that's what we're on. Any final questions for Art? All right, thanks for the time. Thank you, guys.